What's up? This is Bruce. Chop It Up Season 2 with Enroo Mobile Barbershop Company. We got some hot topics for you guys this season. We hope you enjoy it and welcome back. What's up, RJ, man? So, question I always want to ask you. I've been cutting your hair for a while now and I, I never really went in depth about asking you like how, like how do you identify? Black gay male okay. in America. Right. So being <laughs> gay, how do you feel like coming into the barbershop? I can go to a barbershop and they're so cool with me. You know what I'm saying? I'm open, honest. They're cool with me. But then, boom, some little gay boy come in right behind me with bangles and halfway made up and all that kind mm -hmm. of stuff. And automatically it's like room gonna stop like whoa you know just you can just tell you can almost yeah. tell when you go somewhere if someone yeah. don't really want you there it's it kind of that feeling it's a it's all eyes on you kind of others still talking but everyone like is focused on you you know Every like move you walk you in all the way to where you sit down so and they stay looking at you right where, like, or where you know, or where people will even move so you have your own little right. space, you know mm. what I'm saying? Now, and that, that, so I've seen that. get up and move yeah, some, yeah. sometimes. Yeah, because they don't want to sit next to you. You know, as time goes on, where being gay is a little bit more social acceptable and everything like that, right. but again, you still have these places, and especially when you're talking about in the black community, you know, gay is still right, real like taboo, taboo. Yeah, right, for right, the black right, community, right. you know what I'm saying? Right. You have a lot of people who are accepting it. You do what you do, that's your own personal business. But then you have those black Christian people or whatever, whatever the reason be as to why they feel like, you know, being gay is an issue. They have, a lot of them have no problem letting gay people know, I have a problem with you. For those gay people who are a little intimidated by the barbershop and everything like that, you know, you just have to, you have to find a spot that make, you know, that gives you that feeling, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna be me regardless, so I need my haircut, so. Right. When I met you in the barbershop, I felt, you know, your vibe and everything was cool and comfortable, you know, with me, so. Yeah, I had no problems, yeah. Good. Been here ever since. Yeah. You know, I boast about you. You've been cutting my hair since, what, 2011, some, some mess like that, you know what I'm saying? And I boast about, like, I, who, who could, man, you gotta go to Bruce. I'm telling you, this is experience. You, it, it's experience. I know some people that don't, that have switched barbershops because the environment, they couldn't take mm -hmm. their kids in there, mm -hmm. you know? So I think that's one thing at our route. We want everybody to be comfortable. Yeah. We want mm -hmm. everybody to come and patronize our business. And every, and every business should be the same way. You know what I'm saying? Right. It shouldn't just be barbershops or anything. Business period. You know, you're here to do business with the people. Just right. me personally and just our route as a business, Man, we welcome everybody, and we want to yeah. welcome the gay community and whatever you identify with. Whatever. As long as you got yeah. hair on your head or on it your is. face that we it can is. deal with, as long as we know, can provide some kind of service for you, right? And so I that's the beautiful thing about this, and and uh, we're just real grateful that we have people that are supporting us, and we want to support everybody. Yeah.